Okay, uh, I'm not going to answer questions uh, a lot other than to give an indication that uh, he has been granted bail by consent and the terms of the bail conditions are that he is to pay $5,000 with, uh, with the clerk of court and he is to surrender his passport and also surrender title deeds to uh, one of his properties in Harare and uh, he has been ordered not to interfere with uh, witnesses and uh, to reside at the, at the given address and uh, he has also been ordered not to address any political rally or press conference uh, pending the determination or, or finalization of this matter as well as to report twice a day uh, between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and, uh, and, and, and uh, 6 p.m. Uh, one of the charges uh, pertains to a contravening of section 66 uh, of the Electoral Act uh, pertaining to the declaration of, uh, of uh, unofficial uh, results. Unfortunately, I cannot answer the second part uh, of your question whether or not uh, the, the charge is political. Is this matter is still uh, ongoing. A number of issues are going to be uh, raised uh, in court tomorrow uh, by the legal team. Does the state have the case? Uh, again, I cannot answer that question at this uh, moment in time. I think uh, if you are patient and wait until tomorrow, uh, you are going to hear a lot about uh, what is going to be said uh, in, in pertaining to the matter. And what happens? The border is going to be frustrated. Uh, unfortunately, I can also not answer that question because uh, it uh, is a bearing on the issues that are going to be raised by the legal team tomorrow. But Thank what you. happens to the Zambia case? Does that fall away? Are you still pursuing that? Uh, it is also part of the issues that are going to be raised uh, tomorrow uh, when uh, key, key uh, submissions are going to be made by the legal team. What time is the case tomorrow? Tomorrow at 9, 9 uh, a.m. Be, be here at court.